on the subject of toasts gives me great pleasure now to introduce to you the gentleman who will be proposing the toast of his own choice. And I'd ask you all please to join me in welcoming competent Toastmaster, Mr. Rob Scholar. Because the organization, Toastmasters, encourages public speaking, and there's another road, let's call it, that of leadership. But what makes a leader? There's a big discussion always, and not a fight, but there are differing opinions of what makes a leader. Are leaders born? Are leaders made? Do we develop leaders? What about leaders? And you get leaders and you get followers. Or do you? Is a good follower perhaps a good leader? He just doesn't know it yet. He's going to become a leader. And once he's a leader, there are other leaders that that leader looks up to. So there's always a discussion. Followers and leaders. Surely, if you're a good leader, you were once a follower. You can't always have been a leader. So there is a bit of confusion there with the followers and the leaders. We are made differently. We have different strengths, we have different skills. But one thing we do need to do is try and work out what it is that we as a leader are aspiring to. What do we want? Or us as a follower, what do we want? Good followers surely are also then good leaders, aren't they? Isn't that where they're going? If they're good leaders and they, they're going that way and they can lead, uh, sorry, they can follow, they're enthusiastic, they can see a goal, they can go that way, that's a leadership skill, isn't it? So there's lots of things. But let's not forget, and perhaps the most important thing is, before we try and work out what makes a good leader and what attributes are needed for that, what does that person need? I know what we need. We need to know who we are before we start looking at other people wondering who they are. So keeping that in mind, your glasses are charged, please rise. <laughs> Gentlemen, drink with me to those who lead. To to us us lead. Lead. Mr. Tokens. 